Hi class, welcome to exercise 9b. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit about the unit circle today and the exact values within the unit circle. Okay, so the first we're going to look at the 45 degree triangle. Okay, so this is a 45 degree triangle because its angles are 45 degrees right here, right? As you could probably tell, you can see that that's a right angle triangle. And if this is an angle of 45 degrees, you know that this is an angle of 45 degrees. Okay, and since we're in the unit circle, um, we're going to imagine that we can tr put this triangle here in the unit circle, which means that this is going to have a radius of 1. Okay, so you can imagine this, the circle around here, right, this is a quarter of the unit circle, this would be the triangle inside of that circle. Okay, well, since this angle is 45 degrees, and therefore this angle is 45 degrees, I hope you guys know that this means that the two opposite sides, because these angles are the same, these opposite sides are equal. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say, well, this, this side's x, then this side is also x. Same, same, same value. All right, well, there's only one variable if I use the Pythagorean theorem. You say here that x squared plus uh, x squared equals to 1, squared, right? And, uh, well, 1 squared is 1, so then here you have 2x squared equals 2, sorry, that's 2, equals 1. You divide that by 2 each side, like that, and then you take the square root. You have x equals to plus or minus uh, square root of 1 half, okay? Continue that right here. Okay, so just to simplify that a little bit, when you take the square root of fraction, right, you take the square root of the top number, so square root of 1 is 1. And you take the square root of the bottom number, square root, of, square root of 2 is, well, just that. So you have x is equal to plus or minus 1 over square root of 2. Okay, so this is the unsimplified version. Um, <coughs> you, can, you can simplify this. Uh, in, in grade 11, we asked you to simplify this. In grade 12, we're a little bit more lax on that. We won't judge you on uh, if it's simplified or not. So it's not incorrect. Uh, it's technically not simplified, just not incorrect. Uh, just so that way we get both versions. Um, you can also multiply this right by square root of 2 over 2. So I want the simplified version. And I'm going to get x is equal to uh, plus or minus square root of 2 over 2. Because when you multiply the square root of 2, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. Okay, well, in this triangle specifically, since we're talking about a length of a side, we would only take the positive value, correct? And so therefore, anytime you have a triangle with an angle of 45 degrees inside the unit circle, so the, unit, you know, the radius is 1, um, you know that both sides are going to be square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so now the other triangle, the 30, 60, 90 triangle, Okay, so the way we set this one up uh, is <clears throat> we're going to take an equilateral triangle with all sides equal to 1. So every one's going to be equal to 1. Uh, so which means that if it's an equilateral triangle, this is a 60 degree angle, this is a 60 degree angle, and obviously this one is as well. Okay, I'm not going to write 60 there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this triangle into two parts. We're going to cut it exactly in half. Hopefully I can make a good line for you guys. That's pretty good. Okay. So we cut that triangle exactly in half. So what that means is this angle, we cut it in half, which means now this is 30. Okay. And this is your 90 degree angle right there. Okay. So <clears throat> um, we actually know one of these two sides. Okay, so either this, so now you see this right angle triangle, right? We know the length of one of these two sides. It's this one. And since we know this is one and we cut it exactly in half, we know that this side is going to be one half. And we also know, well, that would be the other half. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take just one half of this triangle. I don't need to play with both. I'm going to take this triangle here. Um, yeah, let's calculate the length first. Okay, so I'm going to calculate, let's call this h because it's the height of the triangle. Okay, so again, Pythagorean theorem gives you h squared plus 1 half squared equals to 1 squared. So we have h squared, whoops, I need a pencil. All right, so h squared plus 1 half squared equals to 1 squared. Okay, so you have h squared 
plus one quarter, that's one half squared, right? Equals one. H squared equals to one minus one quarter. Okay, so anytime you wanna subtra uh, subtract fractions, you need a common denominator. So you have H squared equals two, four quarters minus one quarter. So you have H squared equals to three quarters. I'm gonna continue up here. So now I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and again, anytime you take the square root, you get a plus or minus value. So you have h equals to plus or minus square root of 3 over 4. And just like I did in the other triangle, I'm going to attach this square root to both. So square root of 3, well, that doesn't change. Square root of 4, well, that becomes 2. So what you have is h equals to plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. And again, because we're talking about a length, we'll just take the positive value. Um, but I think that's uh, good enough for now. We can talk about the negative value in a second. Okay, so now I've taken this triangle and I've set it up in two, two different ways. So this would be the angle of 30 here, an angle of 60 here. So 30, an angle of 60. And this would be the other way around. This would be your 60 and this would be your 30. So we're going to insert those angles here. So this is your 30, 60, and 90 degrees, right? And this one would be your 60, 30, and 90 degrees. Okay, so I know the values of all those sides if the hypotenuse is 1. So notice that the, the side that is opposite of 30 degrees, right? The side that is opposite of 30 degrees will always be a half. So we know that this is a half and this would be a half. And the side that's opposite of 60 degrees, right, would be the height of that triangle which is square root of 3 over 2. So this is square root of 3 over 2 and square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so we're going to cover this in class um, of how to put this on the unit circle. But if you get to the next page, which we'll do now, this is a preview of what we're going to see in class. And all it is is all these triangles put into the unit circle. Right, so this is your 30 degree triangle, right? So this would be x is three, square root of 3 over 2, your y is 1 over, one over 2, okay? And so this is just the three triangles we just drew uh, on the previous page. But like I said, we're going to cover this in class. So uh, hopefully you understood that little first part, but this part, uh, this uh, lesson is going to be finished in class. See you, see you soon, students.